In 2015, at the age of 25, Evan Spiegel became the youngest billionaire in the world. Currently, his net worth is $2.7 billion according to Forbes. He is the co-founder of the popular social media company Snap Inc. He founded the company while he was a student at Stanford University. Snapchat is one of the largest social media apps. Currently, the app has over 550 million active users. The company is valued at over $17 billion and interestingly, only 5,600 employees manage the company. If you compare a similar company like Twitter, which has 7,500 employees, both Snap and Twitter have annual revenue of around $5 billion. Snap was seen as the biggest competitor of Facebook and many considered it the Facebook killer due to such speculations. Snap at its peak was valued at $116.8 billion. Mark Zuckerberg was so afraid of Snap and its growth that he tried to buy Snap twice. Not only he tried to buy out Snap, but he also even cloned the Snap app which was never launched. In 2013, Mark Zuckerberg offered $3 billion to Evan Spiegel which was refused by Spiegel. Snapchat was just two years old at that time. In 2016, when Snap was valued at $24 billion, Mark Zuckerberg again approached Evan Spiegel for the possibility of an acquisition. Again, Evan Spiegel refused to say that Instagram makes you feel terrible and Snapchat doesn't. Want to know how Evan Spiegel at a very young age created Snapchat? Watch the full video. We at Business Chronicles tell the stories of extraordinarily successful people. Please subscribe to our channel to help us in making more videos. Evan Thomas Spiegel was born in Los Angeles, California on June 4, 1990. His parents were John Spiegel and Melissa Thomas. He was the oldest child in the family and had two younger sisters. Evan lived a privileged life as a child. Both his parents were highly successful lawyers who made enough to afford a $4.6 million home in the upper-class Huntington Palisades neighborhood. His father was a Stanford and Yale alumnus, while his mother was the youngest woman to graduate from Harvard Law School. Both were partners at big firms, but his mother became a stay-at-home parent after Evan was born. When Evan was young, he would travel with his parents and siblings on vacations to destinations in Europe, Maui, and the Bahamas. Evan went wakeboarding and jet skiing, stayed at the Four Seasons Resort, and was a member of exclusive clubs. Raised Episcopalian, Evan went to Crossroads School for Arts and Sciences. He took an early interest in technology products design and by sixth grade had befriended his computer teacher and learned to assemble a computer from scratch. In high school, Evan took design classes at the Otis College. He later went to the Arts Center College of Design. While in high school, Evan worked at the school's newspaper Crossfire. He interviewed faculty to write stories and even went out selling ad spaces to local businesses. Evan was an aggressive networker from an early age, and he would use these talents to help him earn good internships in college. For college, Evan Spiegel went to Stanford University to study product design. He joined the Kappa Sigma fraternity and because of his social skills later became its social chair. Outside the classroom, Spiegel engaged with his fraternity members and networked with working professionals. One of these was Scott Cook, founder of Intuit. Spiegel met him at a business school class and asked him for a job. The two got to work on a project called TextWeb. Spiegel also got an internship at a biomedical company in college and later used his networks to score another internship at Red Bull. At the energy drink company, he worked in marketing and graphic design. While at Stanford, Spiegel became friends with a frat member called Bobby Murphy. Murphy was studying mathematical and computational science. Together, they launched FutureFreshman.com, a website that guided students and their parents on how to apply for college. The project, however, never took off. Fortunately, his next venture would. While at Stanford, Spiegel was one day having a conversation with another friend, Reggie Brown. Brown, who was studying English, opined that there ought to be a way to send disappearing messages. Spiegel liked the idea and later presented it as a project in his product design class. Afterward, he introduced Murphy to the project and together with Brown, the three formed Peekaboo, an app for ephemeral messaging. They did this in April 2011. Spiegel was 20 years at the time. He served as CEO while Murphy, who wrote the code, was CTO. Brown was chief of marketing. 
The first version of Peekaboo launched in July 2011. It was Brown who applied for the patent to the company. However, because of disagreements on ownership, Brown fell out with Spiegel and Murphy. Spiegel and Murphy continued the company without Brown. They later changed the app's name to Snapchat after discovering another business was already using Peekaboo. Snapchat's first offices were at Spiegel's family residence in Pacific Palisades. The app was initially only available for iOS users. It enabled them to send photos to each other that quickly disappeared after being viewed. Spiegel marketed the app by word of mouth and by reaching out to bloggers for features. In its first couple of months, it recorded some downloads, but user growth was low. It ended 2011 with about 1,000 daily active users. Things would turn for the better in 2012. At the end of 2011, iPhone released smartphones with front-facing cameras and teenagers bought them over the holiday season. Afterward, Snapchat downloads spiked. In January 2012, the app recorded 20,000 users. The next month, this doubled to 40,000 users. Soon, the app's server costs ballooned and the two co-founders were maxing out their credit cards to pay for cloud service. At the time, Snapchat was not earning any revenue. In May 2012, Spiegel and Murphy raised $485,000 from Lightspeed Venture Partners. With the funding, they brought in more staff and made enhancements to the app, enabling users to now send disappearing videos to each other. They also released an Android version of the app. Spiegel dropped out of Stanford to work on Snapchat full-time that year. Snapchat was a huge beneficiary of network effects. Its user base grew exponentially as existing users invited other users who invited others. By the end of 2012, the app had reached 1 million daily active users. It was processing 20 million photos daily. Early in 2013, barely a year after raising money from LVP, Spiegel and Murphy did another funding round, raising $13.5 million from investors such as Benchmark Capital. This round valued the startup at $70 million. That year, Spiegel moved the 28-person company to a new office space in Venice, California. He then launched a Stories feature enabling users to share collections of photos and videos with others as broadcasts. These would disappear after 24 hours. In February 2013, Brown filed a lawsuit against Spiegel and Murphy, alleging that he gave them the intellectual property they were using to build Snapchat. He stated that the company was his original idea and that he even came up with the company's ghost logo. Spiegel and Murphy lawyered up, defending their ownership in court. After a protracted legal battle, the two opposing sides reached a settlement in September 2014. Brown walked away with $157.5 million. In 2013, Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg approached Spiegel and Murphy with an offer to buy Snapchat for $3 billion. Spiegel refused the offer, recognizing a bigger opportunity in growing the company. Following the rebuff, Facebook launched Poke, a Snapchat clone. It marketed the app, but it never caught on with users. In 2014, Facebook closed Poke. In 2014, Snapchat added location filters to its app and began running advertisements on it. It had operated without revenue for three years. The addition of paid ads excited investors and that year the company raised $485.6 million, valuing it at $10 billion. In 2015, at 25 years old, Forbes named Spiegel the youngest self-made billionaire. He retained the title a year later with a net worth of $2.1 billion. In May 2015, Snapchat users were sending 2 billion videos a day. By November, it was 6 billion videos daily. In May 2016, Spiegel led Snapchat to raise $1.81 billion in funding. In September 2016, he rebranded the company to Snap Inc., stating it was transitioning from a social media company to a camera company. He later released the company's new camera-equipped spectacles in November. It closed the year with $400 million in revenue. In February 2017, Snap's app reached 160 million daily active users. In March 2017, Spiegel took Snap public at a price of $17. It closed the day up 44% to $24.48 a share. 
That year, Snap made $826 million in revenue and Spiegel's net worth reached $5.5 billion. In 2018, Spiegel returned to Stanford to finish his remaining courses and graduate. After taking Snap public, Spiegel continued to lead product design enhancements at the company. He added custom stories feature so users could collaborate on stories, signed deals with leading production companies to develop original shows, and ramped up advertising capabilities on the app. He also strengthened user privacy, introducing end-to-end -end encryption in the app in 2018 for pictures and videos. In 2018, Snap made $1.181 billion in revenue. In 2019, its revenue was $1.715 billion. In 2020, Snap acquired computer vision company AI Factory to improve its video offerings. Later that year, it began paying $1 million a day to users who made viral content. It also allowed creators to embed apps in Snapchat. It made $2.5 billion in revenue that year, then $4.11 billion a year later. In June 2022, Snap announced it was launching Snapchat Plus, a subscription model for users who wanted additional features. In July 2022, the company reported 347 million daily active users. Spiegel and his co-founder Murphy established the Snap Foundation to develop pathways for supporting creatives from underserved communities. The foundation has donated more than $3 million to address the economic needs of people in California following the COVID-19 pandemic. More than $2.5 million of these funds have gone to the LA Young Creatives Fund which gives grants and no-interest loans to creative people. Spiegel plans to donate more than 13 million Class A shares of SNAP to the foundation. Spiegel also runs the Spiegel Family Fund, which supports initiatives in education, the arts, human rights advancement, and housing. In 2018, Spiegel gave $20 million to the Stockton Scholars Program in California. In May 2022, he paid off the graduating class's debt at Otis College of Art and Design and then donated hundreds of thousands of dollars to Australian charities, including $350,000 to the Sydney Children's Hospital Network. Evan Spiegel was born into a very educated and affluent family. His parents were high achievers, and he saw a very competitive environment at the very beginning. Like his father, he joined Stanford where he met his co-founders and founded Snapchat. He later dropped out in 2011, but he joined the university again and graduated in 2018, which tells that formal education is very important to him. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channels to watch more videos like